What is going on everyone? Thanks for hopping on the channel today. We're gonna talk about jerkbait fishing, winter jerkbait fishing, but specifically doing it on a budget, okay? So we're skipping past the Shimano's, we're skipping past the Jackal's, we're skipping past the Vision 110's, and we're going to the Bella's, and we're gonna get some affordable baits. All right, we're gonna start out with the Stunna. All right, that's our most expensive bait, coming in at $15.99. Okay, then we're actually gonna go to our cheapest bait. This one is the KVD jerkbait. All right, this guy's been around for a while, the 300. And then the last one that we're gonna do, we gotta go down a little bit of ways here. So this is the Rapala. This one comes in at $10.99 right here. Okay guys, we're gonna go over these three jerk baits, when to fish them, how to fish them, and thanks for staying tuned. Wanted to show you guys a quick comparison. The one on top is the one that straight king jerk bait comes with. All right, pretty basic and more than happy to snap on you at any time. The one that's on it right now is the Vector Hooks Tornado Treble. Look at that twist right there. It's high grade carbon steel. It makes a huge difference. The KVD jerk bait is the 200, so it only has two hooks on it, and those are hook size six. Then the Berkeley Stunna, this guy right here, has three new size eights on it. And then the Shadow Wrap from Rapala has three size eights on it as well. And we're gonna be throwing all these today on P-Line Tactical Fluorocarbon, 15 pounds. And our setup is this guy right here. This is the Major Craft MS1 rod. It's medium action, 610. It's got a fast, fast action tip on it. And we're going to be using the SLX, one of my favorite reels of all time, Shimano 150 in a 631 gear ratio. All right, guys, I'll see you on the water. All right, guys, we got our first one in the boat. Um, Going to talk to you about first jerk bait on the list, which is this guy right here. This is the Strike King KVD J200. It's only got two treble hooks on it, and it's a little bit shorter than the 300. Just caught this guy on it right there. So this is the lightest of the three jerk baits we're gonna go into today. The most important thing about this jerk bait is the price, okay? You can get these jerk baits right here for less than $10, sometimes even around the five to $6 mark. And that's really its biggest feature. So if you're just getting into jerk bait fishing, you wanna see what it's like, I highly recommend the Strike King 200 or the 300. Really neat thing about this is the fact that the price point is super low. So I'm not scared to ever throw it in like heavy cover. I know there's a good jerkbait bite going on and that's one I'll use my little VMC crank snap. I'll change from one of my more expensive jerkbaits to this guy right here and I'll throw that around super thick cover. Now I swapped out and put the Vector Hooks Tornado Trebles on these so it's gonna suspend a little bit longer. Um, it is suspending and it does nose down kind of naturally. But yeah, the number one feature about this bait, price point. All right guys, we're gonna talk about the most expensive bait on the list here. It's still, I would consider it a budget jerkbait because you're not going over that $20 limit. But this guy right here, it's the Berkeley Stunna. All right, this bait was made famous by Hank Cherry, winning the classic on it, supposedly. I guess that's what happened. This right here is the 112 plus one. Okay, so it's got a little bit of a bigger lip on it and it weighs half an ounce. All right, it's our most expensive, but it's also our heaviest. And the reason that it's our most expensive, I believe. Number one, Hank Cherry's name is on it. But number two, it has a tungsten weight in it. So it's gonna be more dense, it's gonna sink a little bit faster than the other ones, and you're gonna be able to cast it the absolute furthest. Now like I said, this is the 112 plus one, and it's gonna dive from six to 10 feet. And it comes in right around 15 bucks, the Berkeley Stunna. All right guys, we backed ourselves into a corner a little bit here due to the ice, and I'm probably gonna have to pull up the pedal drive and bust up the paddle. But before I do that, I wanted to talk to you about this next jerk bait, this guy right here. This is the Rapala or Rapala Shadow Wrap, the SDR 11. This guy right here dives two to four feet and is slow sinking. Price point is still very good. Uh, they cost around $10, give or take. You can sometimes find it on, on sale for around eight bucks each. What I really like about this one right here specifically, it's got those really flat sides on it. And this thing really does whip back and forth in the water. I mean, it almost does a true 180. And it was one of the first jerk baits to do that. So the Shadow Wrap, the SDR 11, dives two to four feet, comes in at about 10 bucks. Fantastic bait. Oh, no. Get you what you want, but you got to come home, baby. 
Hey little thing, let me light the candle, cause my mama I shine the hand and I'll mess around. Hey little thing, let me light the candle, cause my mama I shine the hand and I'll mess around. No, 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 mess around. Mess around. All right guys, you're still here, I really appreciate it. And because you're still here, I'm gonna give you a few extra bonuses that work with any jerk bait. Okay, first and foremost, remember that bass feed up more than they feed down. This is especially true in the winter. That's why throwing a jerk bait in the winter works so well. It can get a bass to react five, 10 feet below the bait, come up and eat it for an easy meal in the winter time, okay? Second, this guy right here, I've talked about this before, that is the VMC snap crank, all right? It is just for crankbaits, and it makes switching between these so easy. I recommend using them 10 out of 10. It'll give you a little bit of action uh, as well, which is super nice on these. Number three, and if you don't get anything else from this video, get this, you don't have to spend $25 on a jerkbait to go catch bass, all right? So far, we've been out here today, for about four hours the pond is basically frozen over and do you know what's caught the most fish this guy right here yeah the kvdj 200 all right that's the cheapest one of the three that's our best bargain right now of these three and that's the one that's been working so just remember that okay guys thanks for tuning in all right guys let's talk about how we're going to retrieve all of our budget crankbaits okay so first off we want to get it out there as far as you can. Right now, I'm using the Stunna 112 Plus, so I'm kind of in the middle of this body of water because it dives all the way down to 10 feet and there's grass. There's also a whole bunch of ice. Yeah, pretty cool, we're still catching fish. But when you cast it out, you cast it out as far as you can. You're gonna reel up your slack, okay? And then I want you to give it a twitch, and that's gonna put some slack in your line, okay? Do you see that slack right there? Then you're gonna work the bait the rest of the way in on slack line. So you're gonna let it go slack, hit switch, that's why that medium action is so, so, so important. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I'm gonna stop and I'm just flicking my wrist. I want you guys to watch my wrist too. That's it. And that twang sound that the line makes, that's how you know you're working it right. That's how you know when you're working it in on slack line. So usually I like to vary my retrieves quite a bit. I'll go pump, all right, long and slow, and then I'll go Boom, 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 three fast ones. I'll let it sit for a little bit while longer because it just had a lot of movement. And then I'll come back with a boom, boom. And you really want to vary your retrieves a lot on this until you find out what they want. Today, the water is super cold because there's ice on the lake. Um, so obviously, I'm going to work this in really slow. All right, guys, wintertime jerk baiting on a budget. We've got our three baits right here. This is the KVD. J200 jerk bait. This guy right here is the Berkeley Stunna, and then we got the Rapala Shadow Wrap. All right, all three of these baits cost well under $20, and you can catch fish on all three of them. Okay, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like or subscribe or comment or anything. Let me know what you want to see next time. I don't care. Just just throw a comment down below. I really appreciate it, guys. For the next video, I'm thinking about doing lipless crank baits. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Don't forget, reel and roll. I can get you what you want, but you got to come home with me. Hey, little thing, let me light your candle, cause mama, I shine, I don't know, mess around. Mess around.